Longhorn Tennis coming up this week. On Wednesday, we have men's tennis versus Texas A&M at 6 p.m. Central. And Friday, women's tennis will square off against Houston at 3 p.m. Central. Both matches here on the Longhorn Network and the ESPN app. Reduced capacity here at Mike A. Myers Soccer and Track and Field Stadium for Texas Relays, but there's a lot of energy, not only amongst the athletes, coaches, and crowd, but also amongst the broadcasters. <laughs> Thanks, Dwight. <laughs> Very much enjoying the fact that we're back here in Austin covering the Texas Relays with a one-year hiatus. I will say this, the, the staff that has put on the Texas Relays with all of these fans, the masks, the mask ordinances and the safety precautions that the University of Texas has put in place this entire weekend has been nothing but stellar. So kudos to everybody that put this meat on and getting people into these stands, whether it's reduced capacity or not. But this has been really special. Uh, if those who watch the Texas Relays over the years realize that normally it's a four day extravaganza, but they remove the high school events this year. Look at that very proud TCU family there in the stands. Future mixed four by one. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You know, what's interesting as well, guys, is it's, you know, we talk about, we talk to the athletes and we talk to the coaches on what it means to be back. And I think for us as announcers, we kind of miss seeing each other on a regular basis. This is when we come together, you know, and we work not only with each other, but other people on the crew. And when you don't do that for an entire year, you realize you don't just miss the sport, you miss the people. Yeah, I may have loved the sport, my favorite sport. Love talking about it as we get ready now for the University College Division men's 800 meters. There are the meet and collegiate records. And we have a scratch in lane six, so we will move out to lane seven. The TCU freshman from Peru, Marco Vilca. Got a 147.65 personal best. Also a decent 400 meter runner. Holds his national junior record at 46.95. So some decent leg speed. He is lane six. Edmund Zahafi is the only scratch. Be a shame to see a fall start in the 800. Not exactly a key component in the race. Well, that was such a quick gun. And boom, immediately the, the green card goes up. And I was going to say, didn't have much time, but uh, keep an eye out there in lane nine. Young man in the red in the red uniform. Let's see if there was was a false start. That's our guy Vilka. Yeah, he didn't. He was not set, and certainly he didn't go over the line. He almost stepped back as they get the race started. But keep an eye on lane nine. That's a Sven Sven Sipas, the Texas Tech sophomore from Croatia. He does have a 147 personal best. Yep. And that a little bit late from the gun. He's way out there in lane nine. That Adam Swanson taking the early lead, I believe, from Eastern Illinois. A couple of Texas Tech runners in here. Not just not just Vilkas, but Owen Lickens is also in this field. Davis there, Bove as well. I was going to say out there on the outside, Bove there in the back, just kind of hanging out, chilling. We've seen him in some big finals over the last couple of months, but there in the all-white uniform of North Carolina a and that's Abbas Abkar, the senior. See what Vilka drags them through the first 400. 53-6. It's not fast, it's not slow, but it's fast enough to string out the crowd here. Bove ran the 1500 the other day, so he's getting some work in. That was a race run on Thursday evening. Vilka still leading this 800. No moves being made as they get ready to get to the 600 meter mark. Still, Adam Swanson there in second place, and he starts to make a move along with Abbas Abkar. Abkar's head is really twisting all over the place. That usually shows some distress. But Swanson takes off. Vilka has no answer. And Swanson continued to just pull away the Eastern Illinois freshman. And with a late charge, you couldn't quite see the number on the man who finished second. I apologize. But that was a smartly run race by the Eastern Illinois freshman. 
and a huge personal best. He came in with a 149.66 run last weekend, and now takes two seconds off of it. It was Budagari Rujanerwa who finished second. Well, here we see when things really start to get serious about the 200-meter mark, moves start to get made. But Adam Swanson, he ran a really smart race, only his first outdoor season due to the pandemic. But he just uses his arms all the way to the line. And we talk about the Texas Relays just being ready for big breakthroughs. Adam Swanson had a huge breakthrough. It was not every day you just take two seconds off of your lifetime best in an 800. Swanson wins it over Rujenerwa. Abbas Abkar finishes third for North Carolina A&T.